yo welcome back to my channel be for real i am brit so y'all know the drill go ahead and subscribe if you are not already please turn those notifications on so you do not miss a beat y'all know the drill so today i am bringing y'all a quick and easy vegan meal prep this is very beginner friendly and if you're anything like me short on time all the time and y'all never had time then this is for you and we are going to go ahead and hop right into the video so for breakfast we will be prepping some smoothies i always feel like smoothies are the easiest thing to make in the morning it's a great way to get some nutrients as far as your veggies and your fruits first thing in the morning this is very versatile so you could prep whatever you like as far as your smoothies is concerned whatever fruits and veggie combination you prefer this is for you this is your opportunity to have creative control okay so i'm just going to be prepping some pineapple spinach smoothies it's going to be banana a handful nice husky handful of spinach about a handful of pineapple and the next smoothie i will be prepping will be a peach mango smoothie i'm going to have one banana in there already chopped up we're going to just be placing a nice handful of peaches in there as well as a handful of frozen mango all the fruits are frozen in this video so after i prep these i prep three pineapple spinach smoothies and two peach mango smoothies so that's five days for breakfast and then i'm just gonna pop these in the freezer so on the day that i drink my smoothies in the morning i add whatever base i prefer if you watch my haul then you know i prefer coconut water i add stevia as my sweetener you can of course add whatever base or whatever sweetener you like so if you prefer coconut milk or you prefer agave you know do your thing be my guest it's you y'all know it's y'all world and i also want to mention that i do like to add about a tablespoon of some chia seeds or some flex seed on the day that i actually make my smoothie so i'm just going to prep these in the freezer and each day i'll grab whichever one i want for that breakfast place it in a blender with my base my stevia and whatever boosters as far as flex or chia seeds and boom we have breakfast prepped, ready to go. So now on to prepping our lunch. Well, actually I was eating this for dinner, but whatever. It's whatever you wanna do. So here I go struggling to split this spaghetti squash. This is a spaghetti squash. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it in half. As you see here, I'm taking my spoon. We just gonna scrape out those seeds. We don't need those, you don't want those. And it's gonna be just like that. Just go ahead, take a spoon, get around there, all up in there, and you should have something that looks just like this when you're done. So I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Boom, scrape, scrape, scrape. There you go, just like that. So as y'all seen from the video, I will be making a spaghetti squash with meatball dish. This is a great low carb dish, okay? So if you are watching your carbs, sis this is for you i'm just going ahead and drizzling on some olive oil a little bit of salt a little bit of pepper just to season that up we are going to go ahead and pop this in our oven at 450 degrees for about 35 minutes and while that's cooking we're going to go ahead and get our meatballs popping you can of course buy your own if you would like but today we are making them because we need to control what's going on up in there Okay, today we need to be in control. So here I'm just making a flex egg with two tablespoons of flex meal and five tablespoons of water. I'm gonna go ahead and chop up some onion. I'm placing this in a pan with no oil, okay? Cause we are controlling. This is healthy. We trying to be healthy over here. So I'm cooking that onion down for about a minute on medium high heat. I just threw in a husky tablespoon of some minced garlic. I'm gonna cook that down for another minute. I tossed in about a cup and a half of some mushrooms. We're going to season this up with some Mrs. Dash Italian seasoning. I was generous with it because it is salt free. So as y'all can tell, I am not playing no games today. So we are gonna let this cook down for about five minutes until the mushrooms have reduced in size and it is cooked through. Boom, we're gonna head over to our food processor. This is how we're gonna get our meatballs popping. I have one can of some drained black beans that I am pulsing. Not too much, cause you wanna keep the texture just like that. So from this, I'm just going to go ahead and add our additional ingredients. We're gonna add that nice mushroom mixture right up in there, yup. And for some added texture, we will be adding in a cup of some rolled oats. Don't talk about me cause I had only the one fourth measuring cup all right i don't know where the cup was so i also add in one fourth cup of some breadcrumbs our flex egg 
two tablespoons of tomato paste we're going to throw up in there i'm also going to add in a tablespoon of some vegan worcestershire sauce that's the brand that i use i get it off amazon i will link it below so if you guys want it y'all can get it it ain't about nothing i got y'all so here we're just going to add our seasonings some smoked paprika some sea salt some pepper you know the, the usual the usual players we got some onion powder garlic powder and then i'm going to go ahead and post that up i am going to open up the food processor scrape down those sides just to make sure everything is well incorporated and please make sure you don't post too much you don't want to overdo it because you do want to try to keep some texture you don't want your meatballs quote unquote to be mushy or like extremely soft you want a little bit of texture okay i'm trying to give y'all jewels you know it's up to y'all whether y'all take it or not i mean technically you should but here my greedy self go tasting it tastes pretty good so we are just going to roll it up and i'm using about a tablespoon to roll it up it should look something like that boom i got a little grease plate here and i'm just going to pop these onto my plate and this makes about 25 meatballs so it makes a lot of meatballs you can of course freeze these use these at a later date um they're definitely it's a lot you could do with them you could do spaghetti you could do a meatball sandwich you know I mean? you could do swedish meatballs listen the possibilities are just really endless with these drones like it's so much you could do with them so after i roll all of the meatballs up i am just going to pop them into the refrigerator while i prepare the rest of the components i do highly recommend at least putting them in the refrigerator for about a half hour just so they could firm up and kind of you know what i mean get situated they need to get situated so after i roll these up we are going to go ahead and head over to our sauce get our sauce popping and we are going to start off with two shallots i'm just going to go ahead and roughly chop these up okay sis show off them with the camera effect so i'm just going to place these into our pot i'm going to stir these around for a minute once again no oil we are just going to let these sweat for a second i'm going to place a husky tablespoon of some garlic y'all know i love the garlic and i'm always generous with it so i'm just going to let this cook down for about another minute i'm going to actually be making a chunky pasta sauce today and that just means i'm going to load it up with veggies i just call it giving my pasta life you know it needs life so i'm just going to go ahead and be adding you know some peppers some mushrooms and of course you can buy your own pasta sauce if you don't feel like making your sauce feel free buy your own pasta sauce but like i said i want to be in control you know i want to be able to control exactly what's going into this sauce and i'm going to do exactly that that's just what I'm going to do today. So while I was running my mouth, y'all see me add in some Italian seasoning to those veggies. I did also add in three cans of crushed tomatoes. Make sure it's crushed. And I'm just going to season this up. Keep in mind, there will be a full list of the ingredients in the description box below. And if you watch my grocery haul video, then you know before I was cutting the acidity of my pasta sauce with almond milk. Today I'm using stevia extract, which is a zero calorie sweetener. I'm using three packets. I actually love this way. I prefer over the almond milk and I've been making it this way for quite some time. So I did want to show y'all the new way that I've been making it, but I love this because what it does is it cuts the acidity without making the sauce sweet. So I still get the flavors of the garlic, you know, the shallot, the peppers, all that comes through without the tartness or the sweetness, you know, from me adding a sweetener. So I like that. It's just, you gotta find the right amount to add. So as y'all can see here, this here is a lot of sauce. I'm of course not gonna be using this all today, but what I do like to do is to freeze whatever I don't use. That way I always have pasta sauce on deck. So I'm going to let this simmer down for about 35 to 40 minutes. After this is done simmering, I am going to add in some chopped spinach. Let that wilt down and boom, our pasta sauce is done. We are going to go ahead and get our meals assembled. I'm just taking my spaghetti squash that is done. I let that cool for about 10 minutes before I started handling it because you know, gotta be, gotta be cool. We ain't got time. So I'm just going to use my fork and fork that out. I'm just going to fork all the insides out and then it will give you this I, I don't want to say texture but basically it'll form as far as it looks like little noodles which is why it's called spaghetti squash you know fun fact for those who don't know so 
after you fork both of the halves you should have something that looks just like this and then we're going to go ahead and cook our meatballs i am going to be using my air fryer today which i was very excited to do a few people in the comments did want me to do more air fryer recipes so here y'all go so i am going to put in the comments just if you wanted to pan fry or place in the oven if you don't have an air fryer i'll have those options in the description box for you as well but i am using my air fryer today i'm going to set it at 390 for about 12 minutes i did go ahead and shake the pan halfway through but when they were done they looked like this i was so pleased this is my first time air frying the meatballs and i was so pleased at how it came out these were so good like i was so proud Okay, can I just gloat? I was so proud. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and place our pasta sauce in here. However much you want to portion out your food is up to you. And I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of vegan Parmesan cheese right on top. This is optional. It's up to you. And boom. Lunch, dinner, whatever you want to have this meal for is prepared. It is done. And it is ready for you every day of the week for five days. Just for five days though. So last but not least is our jerk mushroom stir fry. If you watched my last video, you see me make this and throw it in a salad. So this is very versatile. It can go in salads. It could be a stir fry. It could be by itself, whatever you want to do. I am going to be using the king oyster mushrooms. They come pretty thick. So this is me just shredding them into bite-sized pieces. So we are just going to go ahead and season this up. I am going to be using some green onion. We're going to go ahead and toss in some ground ginger you can of course use fresh ginger but i had to make do i'm going to be adding in some jamaican jerk seasoning some poultry seasoning we're going to add in some smoked paprika a little bit of onion powder i'm basically seasoning this up the same way i did in my last video and i will have that link in the description box below just in case you didn't get a chance to check it out you know i understand we are all busy so i'm adding in some minced garlic a little bit of thyme and and a little bit of this jerk seasoning as well, about a tablespoon. I'm going to drizzle this with some olive oil, flick my wrist all over it, get everything nice and incorporated. And then I'm going to toss this in a pan with some cooked peppers. So I got some peppers already in my pan here. I'm going to add the mushrooms and we are going to cook this down for about 10 minutes until everything is nice and right and tender. I do add a few more seasonings, you know, for the culture just to get it right. And I am going to go ahead and toss in a crushed scotch bonnet pepper as well. You can of course leave your scotch bonnet whole. You don't have to, you know, crush it or you can leave it out if you are sensitive to spice. It's up to you. So there we have it looking all nice and right. So our final step is just to make our cauliflower rice. I got this cauliflower rice from Trader Joe's. I would advise you to crush it up or, you know, try to break it down before you put it in a pot or you will end up with something like this. Okay. It took, it took a minute to, to get right. But I got this from Trader Joe's. A lot of places sell it. Or you can make your own cauliflower rice if you have time. You can make it as well. So I chose cauliflower rice for this dish because it is a great low carb option. It cooks up quick. Takes about three to four minutes. You can season this up with salt and pepper too if you would like. I just went ahead and plated everything up. Got everything into my nice meal prep containers here. I will link the meal prep containers in the description box below as well but that is it y'all we are done three meals three ways ready for you ready for the week okay so it is going to make your life nice and easy i plan to do this every sunday because i can't tell you how convenient this has been for me but as always i thank you guys a million times for watching i appreciate all the support and i will see you in my next video